This might be way too early, but it's not going to stop me. What about Heisman contenders for 2023? <laughs> Who should we have our eye on? Oh, I don't I don't know why I don't think this is too early where I thought the other one was too early, but I think Caleb Williams should obviously be the answer. I say obviously, you know, we talk about back-to-back -back Heisman winners, but Lincoln Riley consistently produces Heisman Trophy winners. It's three, if not four, or I think it's been three in the last six years. He's produced Heisman Trophy winners. Now you get another year in this offense, another year. Uh, obviously, you might be losing Jordan Addison to the draft, but you're going to get more weapons. USC, better recruiting class, transfers, everything you need. Caleb Williams has and then Lincoln Riley has the mind to be able to say okay you know I'm going to hire an inside receivers coach an outside receivers coach I'm going to go and get Travis Dye like they did last year as a transfer to dom have a dominant running game and so and Jones as well like I think about this USC football team they're so balanced I could see Caleb Williams repeating as a Heisman Trophy winner. Well, yeah, of course you do. You're hanging out in the beach in southern, sunny Southern California. You get to contemplate these things, Sam. I get it. <laughs> but listen, man, um, as, as a Heisman voter, for me, it is way, way, way too soon. I care about production. I want to see somebody produce consistently over time, which is why I have Player X. I want to see the guy who performs and earns the right to go to New York. I don't want it to be about the hype, the preseason hype, the way too early hype. Let's have somebody perform and earn the right. Now, beyond that, yeah, give me a list with uh, Caleb Williams makes perfect sense, you know, as the defending Heisman winner. Blake Corum, had he not been hurt at Michigan, probably would have been in New York. And like you mentioned earlier, Michael Penix Jr. at Washington, he's gonna put up some big numbers again this year. And Washington has a chance to win the Pac-12. And if those two things happen, Michael Penix Jr. could really be a guy that is a dark horse who really finds his way to New York. Well, guys, you know what? We say it's way too early, and, and really, it, it, it is. But it comes quick. You know, it'll turn around, and we'll be in July with media days and talking about conferences and talking about what's next before you can even say uh, 2023. By the way, Rod, if you're paying attention, it is not so sunny California right now for Sam Macho. I don't, I don't, again, Sam. <laughs> yeah. And I got to say Still this, Rod, what, what can I do to become a Heisman voter? What can I do to become a Heisman voter? Like, what do y'all I mean, like, you got the, you know, the, re, the regal, the royalty. How do I get into that category? Uh, we're going to start the campaign for you right now because we could lop off 800 Let's go. and put you on. <laughs> Just stay where Let's you are, go. Sam. Just stay at the beach. It'll all work out. You just, you just stand right where you are. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.